I want to do a quote from my man El Presidor. Let me tell you something about life. Let me tell you something about reality. Let me tell you about how good I am at this game. Let me tell you about the PS4 and the sales of the PS4. But before I get into that, let me give you a little history. What's up, everybody? It's the bear here once again. And I'm going to talk about PS4 numbers and how great the PS4 is. Now, like I said, I want to get into some history. I bought the PlayStation 1. I bought the PlayStation 2. And after the PlayStation 2, I went to the Xbox One. The Xbox, I'm sorry, the original Xbox, not the Xbox One, the original Xbox, the one, the console that came out in 2002. The first game that I played was Halo 2, multiplayer, okay? And I was stuck on it. I was stuck on it like glue, okay? And I played that game nonstop. For hours on end, I loved the multiplayer. That was the only game that I played for almost a year. I didn't really buy too many games. It was just Halo 2. Uh, so I had the, the original Xbox for a few years. Until I got over to the... I didn't buy the original Xbox when it first launched or whatever. Um, but I waited... Uh, I waited about a year or so after the consoles came out and I went and got the Xbox 360, had the white console, okay? Um, the original Xbox was a big bulky Xbox, it looked like a, a big ass cable box and everybody said that same thing, it looked like a big cable box and it actually did look like a big ass cable box that's just what it looked like you know what i'm saying and it was just huge the controllers were huge the box was huge it was crazy okay but i played the mess the only game that i had for all, all for about a year was halo 2 that's all i played multiplayer all day every day i'm just giving you a little history lesson here i know people say you're just blabbing on get to your point already okay just be patient with me, all right? Because I want to I wanna get to these details. So the, after the uh, original Xbox, I went to Xbox 360, the white console, and I bought Oblivion, okay? And I bought some few games after that, you know? And for a while, that's just how, you know, I, uh, that was 2006. I think I bought the, uh, the original. Matter of fact, it wasn't 2002 that I bought the original. I think it was 2003 sometime. So for three years... I had the original Xbox, okay? And then I went and bought the Xbox 360. I think it was 2006 or 2007, but anyway. So I bought the uh, 360. I had Oblivion. I had a bunch of games on that, whatever. And then I went to the Xbox One, okay? Um, the 360, I had about eight or nine years. Then I went to the Xbox One. I had two Xbox One consoles. Now, here's the reason why I'm getting to my point here. I had two Xbox One consoles, okay? The Xbox One consoles, I don't know why. I had a problem with the interface, okay? The, the, the community stuff wasn't playing. My friend list wasn't showing up. It was glitchy as hell. I don't understand what was going on with the original Xbox, you know? The, the, X, the, the, uh, the, the, Xbox, the original Xbox One, what I'm trying to say. I had no problems really with the uh, the original Xbox. The Xbox 360, yes, it did have the red ring of death, but it was still kind of functional. You know what I'm saying? When I had when I bought the Slim, you know, I didn't have any problems. I had no problems with my Slim. I loved my Xbox 360 Slim. Then I go to the uh, uh, the Xbox One, and I'm having all these problems. 
Games won't play, friend lists won't show up, there's stuff that just won't come up on my screen as far as the interface go. That hell it was glitchy as all hell. I had still don't know why the damn thing was so glitchy. I had I bought two Xbox ones and I sold them. Because they both had the same kind of effect. How is it that two Xbox Ones had the same kind of thing going on? How is that possible? People complain so much about the, the PlayStation 4 and the, the multiplayer and the security and all that. But guess what? It has a smoother interface. I bought my PlayStation 4 in early November. I had no problems with it yet. By the way, at that time when I had the original the uh, Xbox One, I had Time Warner's internet. I had 30 megabytes per second. Okay, now I you know I don't have Time Warner no more. I have Verizon DSL. I only have five megabytes per second. And guess what? The PlayStation 4 still works better with the DSL, five megabytes per second. No problems at all. The Xbox, I had plenty of problems with the internet connection that I have from Time Warner. I just need y'all, and the game I'm playing right here is The Last of Us. Oops, this is The Last of Us. This is the game I'm playing right here, The Last of Us. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that there. Um, get that back in focus. I love my PlayStation. And I know there's going to be Xbox fans out there that's going to be like, how do you turn your back? The reason why I gave you the history lesson of the, of the uh, Xbox, um, you know, me having the Xbox, is to let you know that that's 13 years that I was with Xbox. 13 years. Okay? You could have basically called me an Xbox because I was like, there's no way. I'm going to turn my back from the Xbox. No way. Then I seen the bullshit that was going on on the Xbox One. Maybe it's just my experience. Maybe your experience was different than mine. But I'm talking about my experience with the Xbox One. It was absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. And I just got so sick and tired of all of the friend lists not showing up. And me not being able to play multiplayer games and all this and that. It was just horrible. It was just an awful experience. And since I got my PlayStation, I have had no problems. And I just want to let you know that the PS4, the PS4, to me, is much smoother and better than the Xbox. And then come to find out a couple of days ago, here's the big thing here. Xbox... You may have won the battle for July, August, September, and October, but you lost the war as far as worldwide sales go. And you can look this up. You can look this up. You can go on IGN. You can go on uh, Reddit. You can go on all these different websites. Yeah, there's even YouTube videos that will show you that, I, that I'm, I'm telling the truth about this here. Xbox One has sold over 30 million units. The Wii U... Dead last comes at 13 million, 13 million units. Guess how much the PlayStation has sold for? 50 million units plus. That tells me that shows that it outsold the Xbox One and the Wii U combined. Xbox One and Wii U combined numbers is 43 million plus. PlayStation 4, with the PlayStation 4 Plus sales, 50 million units plus. That just goes to show who is the superior console. It is PlayStation. I'm not a fan. <coughs> I'm, not, I'm not a fan or whatever. Excuse me for my coughing and stuff like that. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Because I will still dog out the fucking Sony, Microsoft, or Nintendo when they fuck up. Best to believe. I am never going to be a fan of one company. Best to believe that. I'm never going to be a next gen 720, a fucking uh, crap gamer, or anything, any of them motherfuckers like Jack Move Johnny, 
the Sony commissioner and shit. I ain't never going to be one of them. I'm just going to be truthful and real about what I tell you. Okay? The Xbox One messed up for me. And I had an Xbox One. I had two of them some of me. Some of them. <laughs> and they both was uh, messing up. Now, here's the thing with Sony. Sony has no good exclusives. And you know, like I showed you, I have a, this is my PlayStation, right? This is my PlayStation. You see that right there. That's my, you know, I got a PlayStation right here. You see all the games. And, so you already know I got a PlayStation right here. And I'm going to tell you something. I ain't no ass kisser. The games that I have bought, most of the games that I have bought so far from Sony was multi-plats. There's no, I bought the Order 1886 and it's complete dog shit. There's no Sony exclusives. Zero. There are only multiplats. Sony, you need to fix that. You need to fix that ASAP. You got no good exclusives at all. But, as far as graphics go, it is definitely better than the Xbox One. But the Xbox One has more uh, exclusives. It's just their, their graphics ain't as good as PlayStation. PlayStation have better graphics, but they have no exclusives. Xbox have the exclusives, but they don't have the graphics. And by the way, Overwatch being Game of the Year, there's never been in the history of of any game and awards show, and I think it's been out for 10 years, that a, a multiplayer or online only game becomes game of the year. That is horseshit. Alright, this video is going long enough. It's already 12 minutes, so. Overwatch game of the year, I don't like it. Not one freaking bit. It's the bear and I'm out. Peace.